Alright, today I bring you a covers video, five good covers, five good comic book covers. I have five comic book covers picked out that I think are good and that I want to show you. I have a lot of comics, so here are five of them that I think have a good picture on the front. This is Amazing Spider-Man 276. Cover is by Ron French, which is likely to mean that it is either a direct remake of someone else's cover or it is borrowed heavily from a cover you don't really remember. Let me know down below what iconic Silver Age cover this is based on. It's a nice cover, really selling the story and the supposed reveal of Ob Gobbler's secret identity. But I do struggle with Ron French because, as I have found out with his covers, nothing is truly original on them. Nice cover if you cannot place what he is copying. One of the big criticisms I anticipated receiving for these covers videos is that due to my abstinence from new marvel comics which began in 2012 i almost never have more recent covers or covers by newer artists well here's one for you this is legend dan stevens is solo series and we have a cover that has a lot of ideas i would maybe say one too many ideas. He is a jigsaw. The excellent men are assembling him. But the excellent men are also inside his head, like his various personalities. And actually, he is assembling himself with them. But the truth is, I never did receive that criticism. This one is Stephen Orkman, issue 6 from the 80s, with a cover featuring Ork and Girl by C. Richard Owl, like C. Thomas Owl, the Starved Soul Man. That is, that is, that is what I'm referencing with C. Richard Owl. C. Thomas Owl, star of Soul Man. This one has actually been on standby for almost 80 covers videos now. This is a cover that I really like. I really like the colouring. I like how the colour choices add to the detailing. It feels both classic and modern. It feels like a cover they would do now with the intentional purpose of it looking classic or retro or whatever you want to call it secret origins 39 animals man and flea de mouse this was a very brief few months when secret origins made all the covers look like the two featured characters interacted there was one with Sexy Ivy and Green Lanterns, the Rat Bastard version. Well, this one has Animals Man about to be sucked off by Fleeder Mouse. And now I want to see Animals Man and Fleeder Mouse in a story together. And this is two separate stories retelling their respective origins which do not cross paths. Excellent Men finishes this one. Dr. X has disappointed everyone with his latest unflattering retcon. This is a Cletus Cassidy cover and the issue is written by Joshua Whedonson. And I bet that prick was cheering and celebrating when Donald Sutherland died. I've not looked it up, but I almost want to guarantee that the cancelled unemployable fraud Joshua Whedonson, who identifies as a feminist, 
will have tweeted or sent out a newsletter where he took glee in the death of a man who dared improvise around his written words. This cover is almost like the world turning their backs on Joshua Whedonson. I have been thinking a lot lately about how rubbish the laws against libel and defamation are in this country. They strongly favour the prosecution, the people who are suing someone for saying something. And more often than not, the laws are enabling and supporting people who are, at times, covering up their illicit actions or evil history. It is because of those laws that I cannot tell you if professional comedian Stephen K. Amos routinely rapes young men at comedy festivals every year. I cannot tell you if that is true or if it is not. It might be true. It might not be true. It could be true. It could not be true. I cannot confirm or deny if it is true or not. Hypothetically, he could do that. I think I can state the possibility. I think that is legally okay. Something else I cannot tell you is if it is fact or fiction that comedian Stephen K. Amos groomed a child called Ben Cowburn, made him dependent on alcohol and then drove him to suicide. I can say it for a fact. Here is a news article from the Daily Mail or the Daily Mirror or the Daily Summit, about a famous unnamed comedian doing all of that. And here is Stephen K. Amos with a public tweet confirming he is aware of Ben Cowburn. I can also say, if you type Comedian X Ben Cowburn into Google, the first result is Stephen K. Amos. Very occasionally, I feel the need to sabotage. It's a form of self-harm, I suppose. Every now and again, I want to do something self-destructive. I think at my core, I want Stephen K. Amos to sue me for defamation, like he may or may not have, sued a grieving family of a dead teenager. Cannot say if that is true or not. And I cannot say if it is true or not that he, likewise, maybe, hypothetically, throws litigation in the face of anyone who he may or may not molest annually. He has money, he is a professional comedian, he could, if any of this is true, he could easily, hypothetically, afford to bury accusers in legal fees. Maybe he doesn't do that, maybe this has all been false. It is open to your own personal interpretation. And I am not saying which version I happen to know to be the truth. And which version I happen to know is false. Got to be off to appear in court now over the things I said earlier about Joshua Whedonson celebrating the death of Donald Sutherland. Which of these covers was your favourite? I'll give them seven thumbs up.